Hello, this is Paolo Carpage, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld version 1.0. Point blah, blah 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 blah. We don't quite know, but we are on the tribal start. It is our third try at trying to start this game, and it seems to be going pretty smoothly about now. We've uh, established a base, no one's died as of yet, nothing scary has happened. We've survived our first raid, and we've almost managed, uh, we captured someone who fell from above, down below. And uh, we let them go, I believe. I think that's the way around. I think it's Bowman which attacked us. No, no, it was your way around. No way around. We let them go. They, they like us a little bit more now, which is all good. Uh, but by the by, uh, right now, we've got Darklight doing a little bit of research whilst everyone else is sleeping cosily. Uh, we also have... What is my steel knife there? And my steel club, I need to pick those up. Um, I've been looking at the stats of the weapons that you're given originally, and it would appear that the jade knife is the most expensive and the worst. So um, when Meatba wakes up, we are going to give him the steel club because it hits a little bit harder than the wooden club. But this time around, there's two things I'd like to do ideally. The first is try and get Bowman on our team. I believe right now we are... Oopsie. Uh, yeah, we're in the midst of trying to recruit them. And at 60%, there's a good chance that's going to happen. How are you doing? Malnourished, all right. Ugly environment, minor pain, awful prison cell. Awful, ma ugly environment. Uh, malnourished, fair enough. We've already got any food. But <laughs> ugly prison cell, you've got everything you could possibly need. You have everything that everyone else has. I've even thrown in a terrier for you. I, I mean, I can't be any fairer than that. I can't be any fairer than that. Uh, our storage is suffering now. That is something we are going to have to look at at some point. Uh, I presume I've got nowhere for weapons to go. So... Maybe we should pop on weapons in there for the time being. Um, we need electricity up, which is what uh, Darklight's working on right now. Uh, so, yes, Bowman is going to be on our side at some point, hopefully. You know what? He's going to be upset. He's eaten off the floor. Let's get him a small table. Uh, get out the way, doggy. And you can have, you can have a normal stool. That should make him a little bit happier. Um, and uh, yes, defense. Defense is the other thing. And also a production area if we can get around to that. I, I want a specific big production room. Preferably in this bit here where all the production tables will go. Uh, I'd like it out of our refrigerator. Or what will be our refrigerator at some point. Uh, also possibly a storage area as well. A large storage area for everything. Being inside the mountain means that if we were to come under mortar fire, at least we're not going to lose stuff in there. This is very, very flammable right now. So we want to get rid of that as soon as we can. Uh, but yeah, I think defense is the next big thing, really. And because at the moment we've only got sandbags and spike traps to use... Uh, I really do need to wall it off from the bottom. Uh, the top is a issue until we expand onto that side. It can make it more square. But as it stands right now, going through water slows the people down. So it at least gives us a chance. I might pull a few sandbags around just to cover us on either side of these buildings. But I really want to wall off the bottom and just put a few spike traps around. Because I figure that's where the majority of stuff's going to hit us from. Then again, we are fairly even, aren't we? But hey, we've, we've got the natural... The natural defense of the river line there. So that's nothing too much to worry about. Uh, resistance is going down. Your resistance is futile when talking to dark light. Futile, I tell you. But yes. <laughs> uh, so let's let's start by making... Oh, I want a wall. I, I'm very aware that you can't build on this mud. And that's very annoying. I think we're going to have to get rid of these for the time being. It is going to shorten down our area where we can build our defenses but for the sake of is it there or was it the next one there i think um, so at least we're going to have a, a nice solid line of defense there now the plan is we're going to put gaps in between the walls with traps in in order to give perspective pirates a ways and means of getting through and hopefully getting caught i did it three three at a time i don't want to give them too many though mainly on the corners i mean i could i could funnel them down 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I, I figure they're probably not going to walk on the water, so along here as well is probably a good thing to do. I'll wait until that's done first. Uh, what do we need for traps? Just wood. When a victim disturbs the trigger, spikes spring forth for them and strike the victim. Uh, since it's hidden in the surrounding terrain, it cannot be placed adjacent to other traps. Animals can sense these when calm. Okay. Five, six, seven. I mean, I like to think they're not going to fall in their own traps. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, we're going to put in a door just there. We need to have a central door. I'm hoping my people aren't idiots, but I'm guessing we'll see sooner or later. Is the trap going in? You working on a trap, skunk? Here he goes. I mean, again, I presume the animals aren't going to get hit as well, but that's only uh, um, me presuming. They're not too reliable when it comes to not doing stuff. Ah, what are you doing? Are we going to have to take this rhino down? Are you eating my cotton? Are you eating my cotton? Are we going to have to deal with you? I mean, I could just fence it all off. I am thinking at the moment of doubling up these spaces. Go on, I dare you. I dare you. Come on, Rhino. I know it's you. Just give me the excuse. That's all I'm saying. I need it on CCTV. As soon as I see you breaking the law on CCTV, I'm taking you down. I mean, is there any way of actually telling? Is Does he have like a... Show all. Show me everything. I want to know when you eat in. See, calls calls putting it on already. He knows. He knows. I don't know whether just to take down this rhino anyway. Uh, the other thing I want to do, because I'm very aware we have pork, which is going to... Oh, wow. Go off very quickly. Uh, we need to make some pemmican. I don't want to, but um, it's the only way we can make that pork not go off. Oh, uh, if we can, that is. 12 out of 12. Okay, right. Let's, let's make pemmican. Let's make pemmican. Uh, and we want... We want... Until we have... The... 30 of those? Before the meat goes off? Is that doable? Who's our cook? Who's our cook? Who's our cook? Cook, 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 cook. Core. Core. You on it? He's on it. Let's speed this bad boy up. So let's just see how they get on with this first. I mean, we've got a door. The traps are going up. Uh, in fact, let's just pause it a second. Uh, now the door's up. How many of these gaps do I want? Probably you. We'll cancel you. Three to you. Three to you. That'll be you. I don't want to come in too close, so we'll get rid of you as well. Carry on. And so goes the meat. Come on, Core! Quickly! Quick! No, Core! Core, 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 Core! Too late. Too late. It's gone. How much pen can do we get? 32. Wow! You don't mess about, do you? Alright. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, uh, oh, right. Okay. So, another one there. We'll get rid of you. That's fine. Uh-oh, what's going on? These colonists need medical treatment. Without it, they may die of their wounds. What's going on? I almost started a fight with Core. Why? What's going on? No, I'm not, I don't care about the meal. Ioma, what's, what's happening? Core called Ioma a chinchilla. <laughs> this joy over into a rage and she began a fight. Uh, Core, Cor, why are you being a knob? Is it Core being the knob? I have no idea why they don't get on. Uh, they're rivals. They've slighted each other. They've insulted each other. Bit of chat. And now they're fighting. You know what? You guys need to sort it out. 
Corner and we're no longer social fighting. Great. Superb. Are you both injured? Court is battered. What, you got bruises? Cracks? Oh, you're bleeding. No immediate danger. And Ioma, what about you? Are you all right? Ah, it is a flesh wound. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so what are we doing? We're putting more traps in. So, uh, you can go there, 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 there. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? A large meteorite has struck ground in the area. It has left behind a lump of compacted plasteel. Wow. Oh, it took out a squirrel. Well, that's unfortunate. That's that's fantastic for building a ship later on. Let's crack on. Uh, so, people are injured. Who's going to be fixing them up? It's going to be... Dark Light is going to wake up. He's our night doctor. He's our night doctor. Core, cool. you know, being a doctor, you can tend yourself. You, t you can tend yourself. Uh, Ioma, you not so much. Oh, okay, fair enough. You can't tend to yourself. All right, well, I'm sure Dark Light's looking after you. Yeah, see, he's all over it. He's all over it. He may be a night owl, but he's, he, he does his job all right. I used to eat my food. I don't know whether to just take this rhino down anyway. Oh, a friendly AI from your past, Charlton Whitestone, has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sent you its world coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. If you can get the ship off the ground, Charlton will take you off this rim world to the stars. Oh, okay. I don't think we're quite there yet. We don't even have electricity, but hey ho. Uh, whoa. Tony, we got Tony. What the hell's going on? Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Oh, Tony. Hi, Hi Tony. Let's have, let's have a word with you. A villager named Tony has arrived and has joined the colony. He is a marble doctor. All right. He is willing to contribute, but not leave, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Tony, you can banish him, sell him into slavery, or simply kill him. However, your other colonists may find this disturbing. Well, how bad a guy is he? Is he, is he like, super bad? Shooting's good. Melee's all right. Construction's all right. Medical's awesome. Chemical fascination and nimble. So he's good at research and medical. Wow. You the man, Tony. You the man. Uh, who's our doctor at the moment? 12. Core 6. So we'll take that off. Uh, we'll put you onto top doctoring, Tony. Uh, uh, we, however, do not have a bed for you. So, uh, right, let's sort him out first. Right, so bed rest is up. We'll put it on one. Uh, one, wardening, four to ten and six. So, yeah, you don't need that. Handling is zero. Cooking is zero. Hunting is... Well, actually, actually, out of Ioma... 9 and 12 to Tony, which is 6. Yeah. Back to Ioma. Uh, construction, 4. Growing, 0. Mining, 2. We'll pop you up on construction. Plant cut, 0. Art, and then research is 1. I mean, could be 1. You know what? You're going to be our, our chief hauler and cleaner. Uh, we'll leave... Research on three for the time being. That'll do. That'll do. Core. Core, core, core. Which is your bed? That's Core's bed. I mean, hang on. Who's... Who is... Um, who's in love? It's... Meatburn and who? Ioma, isn't it? So why isn't Ioma... Having a bed... Right, we got you, Meepra. So why is Nyoma doubling up with you? Aren't you guys a thing? Yeah. So... Does it take me to... Banish you from your bed? Is 
So it's iron. Where are you going now? That's it. Going into the double bed. Awesome. So uh, we definitely need a couple of bows. Did I build a crafting spot? Look at Tony. He's already cleaning up. What a guy. What a guy. Um, what, what is, that? is that a crafting spot? That's a party spot. He'll clean up. That's fine. Um, I think we should probably... Well, I've got this to go yet. Let's speed this up again. Are we out of wood? Wow, we're out of wood. Okay, so... Um, is it any... Something died. There's a couple of bits out here. Got to start getting rid of all the wood around the base. Some more stuff can be built there. Um, I, I'm guessing... Are we Does that mean we, we, we've run out of room again? We need to build another room? I think it does. So if we're going to build onto this, let's... Uh, let's do... 7x7 seven seven again. And we'll have a door onto there. We shall have a wooden floor. And then we're going to need... Um, Don't just do that right. You know what? That's all wrong. That's all wrong. We need a gap. Because this is going to be our entrance to the production area. There. I think that makes sense as far as this one's concerned because that's going to be our corridor through this is all going to be sealed in at some point this is going to be our exit to the north section along with what will be here yeah I think I prefer that so let's put the floor in I'm going to have a bed in there I uh, don't want a wooden stool, damn it. Want an end table there. Torch the other side. Plant pot there. And a cooler. Where's my cooler? Can go in there. That seems good. That seems good. I think that that is that is good. So we can start digging into here, creating our big production and storage room. So I really want to get rid of this. Or at least segment it off. We could have like two semi-large storage rooms. Uh, I am jumping ahead of ourselves though. We also need security. Still that to build. We need sandbags. Um, I think, because this is a dead end. So we could do... That's going to protect us from there. Going to, that's our doorway. So then we need... I suppose... I think that's how I want it for the time being. Just to protect us from the south. And, uh, yeah, we need a crafting spot. Let's get the old uh, production on. And I need two short bows. Ooh, what's a recurve bow? Is that any better? Crafting, crafting, smith... We're going by smithing speed, that's fine. But it doesn't say if it's any better or not. You know what? We're going to... I... I presume a, a recurve bow is better than a short bow. The recipe make recurve bow requires the skills below. None of your clients have these skills. What? We don't have a crafting of five between us? Oh, I guess we're going to stick to short bows then. Uh, I need two of them. So that room will be up in a momento. So that's our next room. Just so we can keep this as a prison. I mean, how's Bowman doing now? Are you any happier? Eight raw food. All right. Uh, minor pain, awful prison cell. I mean, I don't know what else to say, really. Uh, I, I, I guess, well, we haven't been expanding 
Oh, the home zone already comes on. Let's check out our home. In fact, you know what? We're going to turn it off. We're going to turn it off. Uh, we're going to check our home zones. Oh. I have no idea why those aren't there. That's a pretty sensible home zone, if I'm going to be fair. That's a pretty sensible home zone. Uh, let's remove a little bit of it. I don't want to get too cray cray. Uh, that's all. Well, I suppose we'll take that line off of there. Uh, Tony's got food poisoning from rice. Really? Have we not got any food? Are we out of wood? Where are the berries? I think I've just overextended our means again. That's fine. I mean, rice. All right. Why aren't we building it? What? Is it core? Is it because core's still ill? Are you our only cook, core? Hmm. I mean, Darklight hasn't really got a passion for cooking, do you? At least I don't think you've got a passion for cooking. Oh, you do? I think we're going to have to knock up Darklight's cook in the skills. Oh, dear. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. A mad raccoon. A local raccoon has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Show me this mad raccoon. Where's he coming from? Oh, my life, you can cross water. Okay. Uh, right. So, Darklight, what are you doing? Feeding rice to Sin. What the hell, Sin? Yorkshire Terrier? Are we feeding the Yorkshire Terriers? Why are we feeding the Yorkshire Terriers? Anyway, that, that's by the by. Everyone else. Is that everyone? Everyone except Skunk. Where's Skunk going? Refueling passive cooler. Right, okay. So. Everyone needs to... Raccoons come from the top. Everyone needs to sort of gather here. I think that's the safest place for us all to be for the time being. Oh! The dog's having to go. Or the raccoon's having to get the dog. I can't quite make my mind up. No, Shorty! Did you get him? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. How are you for medical? You know what? You know what? You can. That's fine. That's fine. You guys can go. Um, yeah. You're fair game. Um, I didn't realise we were feeding the animals our rice. That is terrible. That's terrible. Who, whose idea was that? Uh, we need to. Oh, they've all, oh, they've all been named. I mean, why are they red? What happened? Malnutrition. That wouldn't be a bad thing, in all fairness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, okay. Jade hit trap? I thought the dogs didn't hit traps. Uh, Tony's wandering around in a psychotic daze. It's happened because of poor mood. Intense pain? Let's slow this down. Oh, food poisoning. Tony, you need, you need to get a bed, sunshine. Uh, who's the next one? Death of Jade? Penetrating his stomach and body? Alright. Well, you might as well pick Jade up, I suppose. Uh, the Terriers are just... Uh, they're, they're, they're more worth... Oh, God. Uh, they're more hassle than they're worth. I think we just need to kill all the Terriers. Death to the Terriers. Death to the Terriers. That's things to feed. Uh, this rhino, is, is that injured? Wow. You ought to go at the rhino. I mean, fair play, but... Oh, a spike trap. Are they setting off what I can't... Oh, my lord. I, I thought they were all sensible to not go onto these spike traps, but apparently not. Uh, right, in which case, we need to change... Oh, I'm speed that back up. In fact, let's just slow down a little. I don't want anyone else going on a spot trap. Uh, we need to... 
Go to zones? If we go to restrict... Oh, yeah, well, let's set you up as well. So... Right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's all getting on top of me now. Let's, let's pink this up. So, he's happy. He's happy. Right, so, manage areas, animals, invert, and let's change these around. So, expand allowed areas, animals off. So, you guys are not allowed anywhere on the spike traps. All right? And then we go to restrict, manage areas, invert, boom. The animals, the, the terriers are down. Fantastic. Right, so the, the, the main animals should be okay now. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the terriers, but it had to be done. Tony, how are you getting on? Wow. How's uh, Blood Lost Mine? He's all right. He's all right. That's fine. We're doing all right. Uh, so we're, we're, we're mainly there. I mean, I would going back up now, is it? Or are we, are we just teetering on the edge still? Have we made the bows? Oh, God. Death. Uh, I think we made, have we made the bows yet? No, not yet. We'll get the bows up and running. So the traps are up. We've got a kind of wall. We've got enough defences around the outside. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. The top is a little bit of a yeah weak spot, but hey ho. I suppose I could throw a couple of sandbags just to protect us. And well, let's face it, they can come across anywhere, but. Um, this is probably as safe as we're going to get for the time being. Uh, we can move that as well. Uh, I'll get that pop down there out of the way. And uh, probably, just, you know, we've got to play it safe here. Another one sort of... There. That'll do, I suppose. Oh, what are you? What did you die of? Spike trap. Alright, well, as long as these keep getting remade, I'm not too fussed by that. I think everyone else is intelligent enough to not, death of Taurus, not to set them off. So I'm pretty happy with down below. It's just up top. But I'd, l I'd like to think this uh, river's going to play it into our hands the right way, but oh, I don't know right now. I don't know. We'll have to... Maybe we think that. But as we expand, we'll be able to block ourselves off anyway. We're going to have to incorporate this geyser into the base at some point. Or two. Wow. Hmm. But that's that's well into the future. So uh, I think we'll call it here. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.